this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a pretty purple flower using a filbert brush. Now this is a really big filbert brush. It's a three-quarter Royal Aqualon and it's a number 2950. Then I'm going to be using a number 16 round brush. That's a magic brush. Number 10 Deerfoot Stippler and a fine liner from Westonia, which is a nail brush. I will list all of my products down below and affiliate links if you want to purchase through those. You're welcome to do so. I am going to be using all Flow Guard paints. I use Thicket, Burnt Umber, Wicker White. yellow ochre and red violet. Now it's a combination of multi-surface and enamel paints. I do combine them. Alright, so what I'm going to do is get started using the Deerfoot Stippler and it is angled. If you've never used one of these before, you can also use uh, a scruffy brush if you have those to create the center or you can just tap a center in with a paintbrush not a big deal all right I'm going to do the front part in the yellow ochre the back part in the burnt umber I always tap off the excess paint on my my palette and I just keep adding paint when I, where I need it all right so let's go ahead and get started some of these are going to be just partial flowers. Some of them are going to be full flowers. And I'll work as many in here as I can based upon the room that I have because on my paper I had had more room. All right. If you're new to my channel, please know that I do try to create simple patterns simple paintings for beginners so if you think wow this is too simple for me if you're a more experienced painter you might want to just take what I have as inspiration maybe for the design itself and create based on your skill level you know add your add your skill to it okay all right, so then I'm going to do, try to do three bigger flowers if I can get them in here. And I'm just basically tapping and, and doing kind of a circle. They don't have to be perfect. I will be going back over these again as I continue painting the petals in. Now if you're new to gloss painting, it's very important that you clean your glass really well with soap and water and that you then go over it before you paint, you go over it with rubbing alcohol just to ensure that all the debris, fingerprints, that kind of thing are off of it so that your paint adheres nicely to the glass. Now with a home decor product where it's not going to be handled a lot, it's not as imperative as it would be for drinking glasses, but just know that it is important, you know, that you follow those steps in order to have good adherence. Another tip too is to make sure that when you're applying your paint, with this type of paint, it is important that the paint is put on so that it's pretty thick. You don't want it to be transparent with this paint. That's not a good way to be with this paint because it won't be as durable. There are some products out there that they are, are supposed to be transparent that's the kind of paint they are. So really, depending on your style, 
I would say it's real important for you just to give it a try and see what works for you based upon your painting style. All right, so I'm taking this big brush, this big filbert brush, dipping it into the red violet, and then I'm gonna tip it into the um, oh, thick white, the thicket, or not thicket, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind here, the wicker white. I use this paint all the time. I know what it is. All right, so on this, I'm just push, touching, and then pulling. Need some more paint. Touching and pulling. And I'll just add more paint as I feel the need. Okay. So I'm just touching, pushing down, pulling. Touching, pushing down, pulling. Now, with the smaller ones where I'm not putting full petals around it, you could use a smaller brush. And if you have a regular filbert brush, feel free to use that. Don't, don't put a bunch of money into products if you aren't someone that's going to be using them often. I just, I don't want to waste, have you waste money if you don't need to do it. I just happened to see this brush and thought it would be perfect for what I'm doing. Just to be doing a different a different uh, brush for the painting. I'm gonna add some more paint to my palette running out of the red violet. When you're painting on glass, as you're painting it, if you feel like it's too transparent, it's not opaque enough, go ahead, give it some dry time or hit it with a heat gun. That's up to you. Or a hair dryer, whatever you have available to you. Or you can just let it sit for about an hour or so and then come back and give it another coat. And there is a difference from painting on glass to painting on paint, paper or wood. So if it feels differently, you know, there definitely is a difference. And I'll tell you, wax paper is a really good product to try in order to get to practice on a surface that's similar to glass. Gives you the feel of it. And it's okay if you go over, you know, if you cross over onto the other flowers, the other petals, perfectly fine. Because if you are making a floral arrangement, guess what? That's going to happen. And I'm not really counting petals, so just put on whatever, whatever you feel works. that will be good and I'll be honest this is a made-up flower it's not to, meant to be anything in particular kind of a resemblance of a sunflower in a sense And you can see the how easy it is to paint it. It's just not a difficult design at all, which is intentional. Now on this, if you wanted to separate them out so that they're not actually going over the top of each other, you know, feel free to do so. You don't have to have them as bunched up as I do, where you can make them smaller. 
And I'm gonna go over this one a little bit more. And now this one down here is just gonna be my one that's got partial petals. And I'm sorry if I float off the screen at all. I'm really trying to pay attention to that. Sorry about that, I forgot I had my dryer running. It just hit me. Oh my gosh, my dryer's still running. Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna come in with my fine liner, stick it in here, pull it out, put it into that and tip it into the green a little bit or the uh, thicket and I'm just going to pretend because this is so full that I'm putting in I think this one will come down here I'm not going to have a, a major stem for the whole thing it's just going to be a little bit here and there and then I'm going to come down here and just put in some little poles wherever I see fit and this is just to be a place where I can add leaves. Because if you follow me, you know I really like leaves a lot. But with this being so full, chances are I'm not going to have like a ton of leaves on here. I can put some, you know, in between here a little bit if I want. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now this is the bottle that I actually uh, will do designs on for the video and then I wash it off so keep that in mind if that's one reason why it's not as important to me because I'm not going to keep it I'm not selling it all right so I'm taking the round brush putting that into the thicket tipping it into the happy green and I don't know if I even mentioned that if I didn't I'm using happy green for the green then I'm just going to come in here Kind of wobble back and forth, just like I've done on some recent designs. I've fallen in love with using this brush for my leaves like this. So now you'll probably see a lot of videos with these type of leaves. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's just how I work. And I hope you can see these again, just very simple very 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 simple so I'm going to come up here trim my bottle and these are going to come over the flowers a little bit but that's okay I'm trying not to get too much purple in them but I kind of like the look of them with some purple in them so I'm not worried about that too much if that bothers you, then I would say give it some dry time. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish up with this one over here. Now, like I said, it's a lot of it's a lot of flowers, but I think it's pretty. I hope you do too. It's very simple. Simple, but yet very pretty, I think. All right. And again, if you wanted to throw some in the center, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this. The only thing I'm going to do is come back over it, put my Deerfoot stippler into the paint again, and then just come back in and, and of course, create a mess here pulling in some of the yellow from underneath here. And I'll just keep doing it. I always like to do this when I'm painting this type of a flower, just to kind of go back over the petals. So it, it makes more sense, kind of attaches, makes it fit in, attaching it more to the actual flower and not make it look, now I'm gonna to have to really watch what I'm doing here because I could go over the, the the petals, but I don't want to. 
some of them it doesn't matter to me but on this I'm just gonna leave it like that and see as I do this I'm coming back over the the petals themselves and just finishing kind of hooking them together hopefully that makes sense and doing it over here and your centers do not all have to be going in the same direction either if you think they do they really don't and you can keep fussing with them get them to look the way you want them to look you don't have to do them real quickly just concentrate and take some time with them. I like them. You can also do some little dots around them if you want them to be more, give them a little bit more interest, feel free to do that. I'm not going to do that on this video, but I have. I'm trying to get this because I have a lot of brown right here purple's coming up. So I'm fix it up a little bit more. But you get the gist, right? I hope. You're fun. All right, that's it. Oh, no, there isn't. I'm sorry. I always forget this part. I'm going to go back into, into these paints with the, the little brush, my little liner brush. And I always forget this part, coming back in and just doing some basic lining. To hook the petals together, hook them onto the little stem. I mean, you can leave them to where it's just more organic, and you just an assumption that they'll be that they're hooked. But I, I like to go ahead and finish them off. Makes more sense to me. And it's very, very easy to do it with this brush. Love it. And you kind of cross over. Just make it kind of loose. All right. Now we're done. For real. All right. Hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell before leaving. If you would, share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, thanks so much for stopping by. Stay safe and healthy and have a good one.